Hello, everyone. Welcome to this year's annual Heart Forum 2021. I'm Amy Marr, the Executive Director of the Heart and Vascular Institute, and I'm pleased to have you here today. You can see here our agenda for the day, and I wanted to let you know that today it's all about you. We chose the topics you see here today by serving you and you letting us know what you want to hear about the most. In terms of the flow of the event today, Dr. St. Gore will give you an introduction to each of the speakers. And at the end of a brief, the, their brief presentations, you will have ample opportunity at, to ask your burning questions. At the end of the individual presentations, this is your opportunity to ask questions by our team of experts. Before we continue on, I wanna say a special thank you today to Donna Garcia, our operations coordinator at the Heart and Vascular Institute, to Holly Trollman, our marketing manager, and to Brian Richards, the manager of our audiovisual program. I also want to invite you after today's event to take a brief survey that we will be sending you a link for to help us to understand what was great about today's process, what we might be able to do better next time, and perhaps what you might want to hear from us at our next event. So who is the Heart and Vascular Institute? We are a team of phenomenal physicians, surgeons, cardiologists, interventional cardiologists, highly specialized nurses and technicians, advanced practice nurses, clinical educators, data experts, clinical leaders, and administrators, all working together to ensure that our community is receiving the best possible cardiovascular care available to them. We also work in close collaboration with these partners, the Cardiopulmonary Rehab Center, the Taft Center for Clinical Research, our Women Heart Partners in the Community, the South Asian Heart Center, Fogarty Innovation, and the Chinese Health Initiative. We all work together to ensure that we are adequately assessing and meeting your own unique needs. So I wanted to share with you some of our top accomplishments over the course of the last year. It's been a tough year for all of us, but uh, we've managed to accomplish a great deal. First and foremost, we were the first hospital and health system in the state of California to achieve the American College of Cardiology's Valve Center of Excellence designation. This award recognizes that we have superb clinical care pathways, transparency in outcomes reporting, and our quality review practices and the processes we use to follow our patients long-term. We have also for several years running been rated outstanding for myocardial infarction or heart attack care. We have national accreditation for our cardiopulmonary rehab center for several years running excellence in rating for our echocardiography program and our surgical program for aortic valve replacement and mitral valve repair and replacement is three stars or the best in the nation. That puts us at top 2% of all performing hospitals for these procedures. We have also most recently been awarded from the American College of Cardiology four stars ratings for myocardial infarction care, as well as percutaneous coronary intervention. So what does this mean for you? It means that you can be assured that when you receive care at El Camino Health, you are receiving the right treatment at the right time to meet your own specific needs. It means that across our entire experience with you here at El Camino, and even once you leave this hospital, you can be confident that we have your health, your treatment, and your recovery as our first priority. So what's next for the Heart and Vascular Institute? So knowing that we already provide top-notch care, here's what's next. This time last year, we moved into the beautiful Sobrato Pavilion and we opened several cardiac specialty clinics, our Women's Heart Center, the Cardio Oncology Center, and we co-located cardiovascular diagnostics within the building as well. And we are excited to announce that we will also be moving the Cardiopulmonary Rehab Center within the Sobrato Pavilion next fall. We will also be expanding and upgrading equipment in our catheter lab so that you can we can ensure you that we continue to have all of the state-of-the-art therapies available to you that you've come to expect. 
We will begin a vascular screening program in Sobrato Pavilion as well and expanding our wound care services. We have great plans to consolidate CV services as much as possible into the location, one location, making cardiac care for our community as convenient and comprehensive as possible. So before I say goodbye, um, I wanted to make sure that I mentioned to you uh, Dr. Frederick St. Gore. Dr. St. Gore is the medical director of the Heart and Vascular Institute and my partner in leadership. He is a thought leader in cardiovascular care nationally and internationally and is uh, the owner of the company that invented the mitra clip, which you'll hear about very soon from Dr. Ramahan. So thank you for your time today and please enjoy our presentations. <laughs>